No mom said that. Hi, Danielle. Hey, guys. Good morning to you. And you know, I've talked about you all. I've talked about this to you all before. I'm in this situation right now. My 14 year old son has decided to become a vegetarian after watching that documentary, What the Health. His dad and I, you know, we're really trying to support him in this endeavor, but at the same time, make sure that he's eating properly because the first week, I got to tell you, he lost four pounds. He's a naturally thin kid anyway. So you can understand my concern, and I'm sure I'm not alone. So here to give me and other moms out there some guidance on this is nutritionist Megan. And where? Hey, Megan. Good to Hi, see you. Good to see you today. When we were talking last week, I told you that my son had watched this documentary, What the Health, and you stopped me and said, I have had so many people calling me because their kids or they have watched this documentary. Yes, this right? documentary is keeping me in business. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've right. had so many people that come to me and say either their children or them as adults yeah. want to change their diets just because of these documentaries that are popular today. What is it about the documentary that you think has touched a nerve? I think it scares a lot of people. I think they see a lot of the things that they're showing, like these carcinogens that are in food, and they're mm -hmm. saying, I really need to take a look at what I'm eating, and do I need to eat this way as well? You know, here's the thing. I have been a vegetarian on and off, right, for many years, much of my adulthood, and, and in my childhood as well. Right now, I'm off. And I, one of the things I know is that it's hard enough for me as an adult to, to eat right. When it comes to the kids, it's even harder for them, right? Absolutely. And I want to be really clear. You can be a vegetarian or vegan and a child and be safe. Okay. You can do this in a safe way, but it's going to take some planning. Just like any healthy diet, you can eat meat and still be healthy. You can be a vegetarian and still be healthy, but it's really going to take some time and some effort to plan ahead. So let's talk about this planning ahead, because sure. I think that's very important. When you've got such a busy schedule, sure. as moms do, in terms of you know whether you work or whether you stay at home, there's so many things going on when you have children that you have to try to balance it all. So mm -hmm. how, how hard is the planning and, and what should well, we do? One of the problems I see is that people come to me and they say, I want to be vegan or vegetarian. And then in the next sentence, they say, but I don't eat vegetables. Oh, wow. Well, that's one of the first things that we need to look at. Yeah. How many plant-based foods are you already eating in your diet that mm -hmm. are automatically a vegetarian and vegan? Mm -hmm. I don't want you going from chicken nuggets just to soy nuggets. How do we make oh. sure you're getting some complex carbs, some lean proteins, and some healthy fats every single time you eat, whether that's from walnuts or beans or whether that's from chicken? in that doesn't really matter. Right. We can make it work. And so when you're talking about specific meals, are we mm -hmm. talking about instead of the meat product using tofu? Are we, start, are we talking about, you know, eating, you know, veggie burgers? What, mm -hmm. are, we, what are we talking about here specifically? I think one of the easiest things with kids are smoothies. smoothies. So if you're really worried that your child's not getting enough fruits or vegetables, if you take a plant-based milk like almond milk or walnut milk, throw in some veggies, throw in some frozen kale, maybe even some peanut butter or avocado, a high-fat food with a lot of calories. Ah, so butter, if you're yeah. worried about your kids, losing weight on this, mm -hmm. using those fats like peanuts, almonds, um, flax oil, avocado, throw it in a smoothie, they won't even know it's there. 15 seconds left. What's the best advice you can give parents like me? Sit down with your kid, plan ahead, take them to the grocery store. They want to be involved in what they're eating. Let them be involved. Let them pick up the veggie burgers. Let them try the quinoa with you. Be involved in the kitchen with your kid. Megan, great advice. Where can people find you if they want more information? OrlandoDietitian.com. I appreciate your advice. I'm going to go home and make some quinoa. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, back over to you now.